Welcome to the review of the multi overdrive pedal from Boss, the OD200. The pedal belongs to a new series of pedals with a new form factor and extended feature set. The pedal provides 12 different drive modes, 5 overdrive sounds, 6 distortion and 1 fuzz sound and on top 15 boost types. Furthermore, it has a built-in noise gate and a memory to store 4 presets. Wow, that's a lot for the street price of around 240 bucks. So let's start with unboxing the pedal. Here it is. They call it hybrid drive. Uh, it looks like the pedal is no longer powered by a 9 volt block. Now we have three AA size batteries for, for the usage without a power supply. Here is the manual and some rubber feet and some other paper stuff. Ah, here it is. It's a full metal chassis. Knobs are built out of metal. There are new foot switches. Looks like great build quality. All is very well built. Input, output, uh, expression pedal. Then we have uh, MIDI support, MIDI in out and an USB port for updating the firmware. So, let's check out the sounds. Here's a simple diagram of the signal chain. The strut goes straight into the Boss OD200, then in the Koenig tube amp, and then into the Boss load box. The last thing in the signal chain is the Apollo audio interface. I'm using the clean channel of the tube amp, all tone controls are in the middle position. The gain is set up at the breaking edge, so this is how it sounds when the OD200 is switched off. All effects means delay and reverb are provided by the tube amp expander from BOSS. So let's start with the first mode, it's the blues driver mode. Let's switch on the pedal. Let's find a nice sound. For me the blues driver mode sounds pretty good, as you've seen I've set up the bass EQ of the pedal to minus 25, 
and the middle and trebles are at zero means middle position. So let's switch to the next mode, it's the tube screamer mode. tube screamer mode. Let's switch to the next mode. It's the centaur mode. <laughs> Not bad. Next mode. Let's switch to the X-Drive mode. The mode supports MDP, which stands for multi-dimension processing. Simply spoken, it's a smart way to get a great tone with any drive setting. For more detailed information, feel free to visit this website. Not quite sure, but it looks like the X-Drive mode is identical to the Overdrive OD1X pedal from BOSS. So let's check this out now. sounds really great, it's a classy tone and it should work pretty well for uh, Stevie Ray Vaughan or Hendrix songs.
The next mode is the distortion mode and it should sound similar to the Boss DS1 pedal. Maybe you remember this rock song from the 80s. The next mode supports multidimensional processing, in short MDP. Simply keep in mind, all modes starting with X support MDP, but regular pedals with MDP support and with X. For instance, the related pedal for this mode is the Boss DS1X. To make things more confusing, when switching to the X distortion mode, HDS appears on the display. Look at this. You may wonder why the first letter on the display is H instead of X. I think it's a limitation of the 7 segment digit LED. That LED is simply not able to display X, so they use the most similar visual representation, which is H. Enough talking, it's time to make some noise. That mode sounds really great. Maybe the best sounding mode of this pedal. Let's switch to the next. It's the stack drive mode, which means it's a classic Marshall stack, a high gain stack. So let's adjust the drive and EQ settings. Maybe too much bass. The 
sound reminds me on a great song. It's time for Boogie. Oh man, that sounded great. The next mode is called Fat Distortion, so I expect a pretty high gain sound. It looks like I'm not a big fan of this mode, so let's check out uh, if it sounds better with single coils in position 3. <laughs> For single coils, it's not bad. Let's switch to the next mode, the brown mode. As you can see, a weird letter appears on the display, the rotated A. But because most guitar players are clever people, we know the last letter stands for a W. And it looks different because of the built-in seven segment digit display. Anyway, here's how it sounds. Let's optimize the tone. Okay, for a real brown sound, uh, we also need a flanger, a phaser, or both. So let me put a flanger into the FX loop of the tube amp expander. <laughs> Oh. 
To me the brown mode sounds pretty solid and useful, let's continue with the next mode called X-Metal. As you maybe know, X stands for MTP, means multi-dimensional processing support. So let's check out if we can get a solid metal sound. Yeah, sounds really good. For Brock Metal the low end could be a bit tighter, however this can be fixed uh, with the built-in booster. I will demonstrate this later when we check out the booster. The next mode is totally different, it's the Fuzz. <laughs> Unfortunately I didn't notice that the clean boost is active. Now it's clear why the mode has so much gain. How could this happen? I will show you later when we check out the booster. Personally I like the boosted sound a bit more than the regular one because of its rawness. The non-boosted fuzz sounds not identical but similar if you turn up drive to around 40. So let's switch to the last mode, the classic overdrive.
Now it's finally time for the extras of this pedal. There's the booster, the noise gate and the memory for storing presets. Before we continue with the booster, let's check the software version. For this we have to press the memory button while turning power on. You can do this by inserting a plug into the input jack. I will use the power switch of my battery pack. So let's do this now. Power off, press the memory button, power on. As you can see, after a few seconds the software release number appears on the display. It's 1.00. At this web page you find the latest firmware release and the software for updating the pedal. Because version 1.10 is available, I've downloaded the update and system software. So let's install the new firmware, but keep in mind, never power off the OD200 while the update is in progress. This could harm your pedal. To continue, turn the power off and turn all the knobs all the way down. Means low, middle, high, level and drive. Then connect the USB port to your computer. Next hold down the param knob and turn the power on. Execute the update software and set MIDI output device to OD200. Select the pass with the firmware files and click send. Now the update is in progress. As soon as OK appears on the display, the update is finished. Turn power off and check the software version by pressing the memory button while turning power on. That's great, we have increased the storable memory from 4 to 127 and got some additional configuration features. The OD200 comes along with 15 different boost types. What you've mostly seen on the pedal display in the last 20 minutes is the selected boost type. The letters CLM stand for clean boost and mean that the clean boost is currently selected even if it's not active. To change the selected boost type the param button has to be set to boost type. This is the param button and this is the type LED. Now you can use the param knob to set the boost type of your choice. This is mid boost, clean boost, treble boost, overdrive boost and so on. You can also press the knob, it works exactly as the param button. With the right foot switch, this one, you can select a memory preset or turn the booster on and off. For this the foot switch has two modes. You can switch between these modes by long pressing the switch. By default means when the device is turned on, the foot switch can be used to step through the memory presets. By pressing the foot switch for a while, the booster LED begins to blink or light continually. Now the foot switch is in booster mode and allows you to turn the booster on and off. On, off. A booster can run in serial or parallel mode. By default it runs in serial mode. Take a look at the diagram. In serial mode the booster is placed before the main distortion. In this mode you can modify only the pre and post gain of the booster. Pre gain allows you to adjust the level of distortion, post gain controls the volume. This is great if more volume is required for solos. Keep in mind in serial mode the EQ does not affect the booster. In parallel mode it's different. Pre and post gain also work identically but the EQ also affects the booster. 
For modifying the signal chain, you have to press the memory and param button simultaneously. The letters STR stand for structure. Now press the param knob to see the current mode. SER stands for serial. For changing to parallel, turn the knob until PRL appears on the display. You can exit the configuration by pressing the memory and param button together again. Now it's time for some mathematics. The pedal offers 12 different distortion modes. Each mode can be combined with 15 different booster types, serial or parallel. At the end this means you have 372 different sound types. That's quite a lot. And I hope you don't want me to demonstrate all these sounds. Okay, but not all. For demonstrating the booster sounds I will play a short lick into this Ditto Looper and switch through all 15 boost types. The distortion mode is set to Centaur.
Okay, not bad. Now let's switch to the parallel mode and play it again, Sam. Let's start without the boost. That's it, all boost types in serial and parallel mode, but only for sand tower distortion. For saving some time, I haven't tweaked each setting, but I hope you got an impression how the booster sounds. For the metal guys, as already promised, I will now demonstrate how the booster can be used to tighten up the low end of the X metal mode. So let's switch to the X metal mode. Then back to the serial mode.
So let's use the mid boost. And now we um, lower the boost volume. And we lower the boost gain. So here's the result with and without the booster. Let's use another boost type. Use the metal core boost type. And another boost type. The overdrive. That's for the metal guys. The pedal provides tons of gain but also a lot of noise, especially in certain distortion boost combinations. However, the OD200 has a built-in noise gate, so we are able to eliminate unwanted noise. Threshold. Uh, threshold defines at which noise level the gate becomes active. Zero means the noise gate is disabled. Let's find a good threshold value now. So this is our noise for the distortion boost combination. Is pretty good. There's another param decay. Decay defines how long a note rings out. Zero means minimum. For staccato metal, a good value is 20. Now it's time to store our setting as a preset and this is pretty simple. We long press the memory button until write appears on the display. Then select the memory number with the param knob. I select number 5. Long press the memory button. 
and ready. And the best thing is that it stores all your settings. Means bass, mids, treble, strife, level, boost type, the boost uh, structure means parallel or serial and the noise gate setting as well. With a single step on the foot switch you are able to restore your preferred sound. That's really great. By default the memory switching range starts at <coughs> manual and ends at 4. Manual 1, 2, 3, 4. However, you can set up the lower and higher value. So let me demonstrate this. So we assume we want to start with preset number 2 and end at number 7. Press the memory and param button together to enter the configuration. Dial until ETF means extends from appears on the display. ETF. Press the param knob and dial in to the start number. Press the param knob again. Then dial in to ETT means extends to. Press the param knob. Dial to the end number. 7. Press the param knob again and press param button and memory button to exit the configuration. Now the foot switch starts at preset number 2 and ends at number 7. You may be wonder how you see if the booster is turned on when the right foot switch is in memory mode. Well, in this case a little dot appears on the display. So let's switch to preset number 5. Can you see this little dot here? This is a bit tricky because it's easy to overlook if the booster is turned on. But if we long press the foot switch to switch to the booster mode, you can see that the LED, the boost LED lights permanently, which means the booster is on. The pedal offers some additional options. In example, you can change the function of the foot switches, connect external switches, set up an expression pedal, set up MIDI, but demonstrating it all would go beyond the scope. So here's my rating, DOD200, provides pretty good distortion and overdrive sounds. Generally all sound really good. Some I like more than others, but that's subjective. And with the booster you can tweak each sound to match your personal taste. 372 different sound options are possible, so I'm sure you will find more than one which are made for you. Currently you can't run the booster without the main distortion. This is a bit annoying. I would have expected that the booster can be used standalone at least in parallel mode. I hope BOSS can provide this feature in a future software update. The pedal offers really much gain. Personally I never needed more than they have. The built-in noise gate works great as expected. Together with the manual mode you can store 128 presets. This should be more than enough. The hardware feels solid and is high quality. Bypass is buffered. What I don't like is that the value ranges are not consistent. For treble mid bass it goes from minus 50 to 50, for level from 0 to 100 and for drive from 0 to 120. I also don't like that real letters can't be displayed. Anyway, these are minor critics and there's really not much to complain. In Europe the pedal is around 240 bucks. Recently I've seen it for the street price of 200 bucks. I mean such a powerful pedal with so many features for that price is a steal. So my rating is 4.8 out of 5 metal ends. One question still remains. Can the OD200 replace all your existing overdrive and distortion pedals? Hmm. I mean, 
especially for overdrive sounds, guitar people are pretty picky. So the pedal can possibly not replace each of your pedals, but some of them for sure. Especially if these pedals are from Boss 2. So my recommendation is, it's worth to give it a try. That's it for today. Thanks for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe and see you soon on this channel.